he is just 18 years old, facing a possible double life sentence for the senseless murder of a man he never knew. Daryl Dedman is thin, short, with straggly blonde hair, accused of leading a group of white teenage revelers on a mission to find and beat up anyone who is black. They discussed, let's go get, I mean, let's be honest here, let's go get a nigger, right? That's exactly what, what it will show. Hines County District Attorney Robert Schuler Smith says the evidence and witness accounts tell a story of a crime that would seem to come right out of Mississippi's troubled past. On June 26th, a group of white teens, seven in all, leaving an all-night party in the white middle-class enclave of Rankin County, Mississippi, in search of a black person to, quote, mess with. Out of hate. Out of hate. That's exactly no what we No doubt in your mind this was a racially motivated, hate motivated, let's go kill a black guy crime. Absolutely, there's no doubt. They were looking for a black victim to assault and even kill in this instance. They drove 16 miles on a freeway heading west. At 5 a.m. that Sunday morning, the teens in two vehicles took the Ellis Avenue off-ramp leading to a predominantly black section of Jackson just as they were exiting. An unsuspecting 49-year-old auto worker named James Craig Anderson was standing by his car at this local motel, and he was black. So literally, they found the first black person they could find, and that black person was in this parking lot. Well, yes, this is the first business that you, that you get to coming off of the highway. Uh, and so that was the first person that apparently was uh, was uh, out here and, and, and vulnerable. According to witness statements, at first James Craig Anderson was beaten and taunted with racial slurs. Surveillance video shows white teens going back and forth in what prosecutors say was a continuous beating of the victim. As one of the teens walks back to the cars after beating Anderson, he pumps his fist in the air and shouts, white power, according to a motel security guard. Then some of the teens got in the white SUV and drove away, leaving Anderson beaten and lying on the ground. Daryl Dedman apparently wasn't through. He had two girls in his truck as he was leaving this parking lot, a big F-250 pickup truck. James Craig Anderson, the man who was beaten almost to a pulp, was stumbling down this curb. That's when police say Daryl Dedman hit the gas, jumped the curb, and ran right over his victim, smashing him. What he didn't know was the entire episode was being caught on a surveillance camera on the corner of this hotel. This is what was caught on that tape, obtained exclusively by CNN. We warn you, it is disturbing. A video capturing what prosecutor Robert Shuler Smith says is pure racial hatred and murder. Here you see James Craig Anderson in a hotel parking lot as he first comes into view in the lower right corner of the screen. This is after he was beaten, according to law enforcement officials. He staggers into the headlights of Mr. Deadman's truck. The truck backs up and surges forward suddenly, running right over the defenseless man. Take a look again as the approaching headlights glow on Anderson's shirt, then disappears under the truck. According to police, Deadman, with two teenage girls as his passengers, drove to a local McDonald's meeting up with the rest of the group. There, according to witnesses interviewed by police, he said, I ran that nigger over. He was not uh, remorseful. He was um, laughing. Laughing about the, uh, the killing. Later that morning, James Craig Anderson's family learned their 49-year-old brother and son died in what they thought was a hit and run. Only later, when witness statements were taken, did they learn the real horror. But Winston Thompson is the family's attorney. As the facts developed, it went from a bad situation to much, much, much worse. Uh, that this could, at that time, they were being told this could have possibly been a racially motivated killing. Now it appears there is no doubt. Still in shock, still in 
disbelief. Calls to Daryl Dedman's attorney have gone unanswered. During a bond hearing, that attorney told the court he saw nothing to back up the racial allegations. At Dedman's home, a girl who answered the door pretended not to know him, though the pickup truck he allegedly used as a murder weapon sticks out of the family's garage. Police say they returned it after the vehicle was processed. A second teen, 18-year-old John Aaron Rice, has been charged with simple assault for his part in the beating. His attorney also did not return calls. Neither teen has entered a plea. The other teens in the group have not been charged. And James Craig Anderson's family has decided to remain silent for now, trying to come to grips with a crime they thought was in Mississippi's past, the murder of a man just because he was black. Drew Griffin, CNN, Jackson, Mississippi.